you touch my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Why am I a dick? I don't know, you're just a dick getting towards me. Why? I don't know, just a... Why though? Because I said uh... Yeah, but why? What have I done? Well, because I got to be asked the most questions, and that's going to take the most time. So I thought, just get the shortest one done first, and then do the longest one as the rest. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't think about that, did you? No, I didn't think so. Where's your... F well, you wanted to do this, so... I, I never insisted on a fucking interview. Stop recording me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first person I'm interviewing is Ryan Doyle, Reflex, and the first question is, where did it all begin for HTU? Um, well, uh, before I made the group, I'd, I was in a group called Authentic UK with Connor Willis and uh, Keith uh, Cookie, Cookie Mitchell, and, uh, well, they were dying out and they were leaving, so me and Jordan were at work one meet up and we decided, why not make, a, make our own group and make our own, own group and pretend a lot. By then, it was Hard Dance Rising and HDU, then it was me and Jordan first, then it was Ross Wells, and then we had all the rest, and so on and so forth. And that's basically where it all began for us. And what are your thoughts on Premo UK? Alright, um... Uh, Premo UK, I probably have the utmost respect towards, because they are the ones that got me to where I am today and the ones that mainly motivated me throughout my hard dance career and also when I was with Prem, I first went to a Primo UK meetup that's when I started to go to more meetups uh, we started to make groups and stuff like that Primo UK are probably one of the best in probably the best in the UK at the moment probably one of the most known around Europe um, but there are a couple of people that let the group down, which I ain't gonna mention because it's only gonna cause arguments. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, question three: What are your thoughts on Addicted to Hard Dance UK? Um, Addicted to Hard Dance from Jen. They're they're a young group. They're not they're not re really that good in experience wise, but. As they, because they're just like 13, 40, I reckon as they get older, they'll turn out to be a really great group. And a lot of good talent will be in there. Who are your favourite hard dance idols? Um, f I'd say i got two favourite idols I like, which is, one is a guy from Spain named Sonic, who I'm quite good friends with. And you should really look him up, Sonic, with his jump style. He, he's absolutely amazing and he is my idol for jump style and probably for my shuffle I'd say Siki from Bass Masters who is a Brazilian shuffler he is just um, again another amazing dancer that I really love and uh, yeah just look him up and whatever like you know what do you think is the future for Hard Dance here with the UK? Um, for the future of us I'd say well, we're gonna be do we're gonna be trying to spread our reputation out there to try and really get our reputation out there because we really wanna get our name out there, get who we are out there, and also we want people to recognise us, and we also want pe motivate people into doing the stuff we do. That's why we do stuff like we do event gigs, meetups, stuff like that, just to basically try and mo motivate younger kids also. What is your favourite style of hard dance? Well, the first dance I actually started off with is hard jump, but it's kind of like... Because like, when I started it, I was kind of like really, really bad. So if anyone does do hard jump, don't like listen to whatever anyone else says, because at the end of the day, 
everyone's crap when they start for the same as me is the same as reflex same as instinct and all that but at the end of the day the more you try it shows that you're more dedicated than the rest if you want to get better so i'm probably gonna have to say that my favorite dance is probably hard jump when did you start hard dance uh i started hard dance in i think it was early august 2010 the first dance I started doing was hard jump, but I got kind of like um, discriminated by other members of groups. So I have, so I started learning like the new way of doing hard jump, and I kind of picked up new tricks off them. So they did kind of like help motivate me to get better, um, and that's like one of the best things I find about dancing because. If people help motivate you, it helps make you get better at what you love doing, basically. Tell us a bit more about yourself, like why did you start dancing, what motivates you to be better? The reason why I started dancing is probably because, um, it's probably because I saw a lot of people in my college doing it, like the first person I seen like was doing it was David Lewis, and he got me into it, so I started learning it. And then I, w I went to my first meet-up where I met Reflex, and then we started talking a bit more. Um, and that was basically how I started. Um, the thing that mo helps motivate me is probably because I seeing seeing people um, just seeing people like get discriminated by it. Like how can I how can I put this? Um, like I don't. What motivates me to help me get better is to show the people that can, that they can get better after over time of practice and that they shouldn't really listen to what everyone says, like people might call you rubbish or shit or something like that, but it does kind of help motivate me to show that, that I don't care, you can like you can think of me whatever, but I know I'm, I, I, I can, I'm good, like, basically. Thank you, Jordan. Okay. <laughs> Touch my tra-la-la Mmm, my ding-ding-dong